Oh, look at that. I blew off your little zombie head. Wasted a single magnum round. Though they don't seem to respawn, which surprised me. Hey, you. Oh, don't cut my face. How is... Yeah, it's worth using her. Well, I still the ammo disc. Well, I suppose it's not really a bad thing, because there is like, a place to use it in here. Huh. Oh, I see, I see. Ah, oh, Jill got steam in her face. Steam burns! And now she's rolling on the floor. Poor Jill. There's not an MO disc here. I'm so concerned. I'm sweating concern. And data. Very important data. This room is really loud! I got cut in my face twice! Oh, father. Oh! Okay. Give me the battery here then. Does that mean the MO disc is where the battery was? That, that would make escape very difficult. I'm talking loud now because this is a loud area. It requires that I must yell in order to... Oh, look at that. You missed my face. Oh, look at that. I'm never coming back. In hospital. Oh, they don't respawn. Well, that's just stupendous. Also means they're gonna poop out another save here. Battery, battery. That works for me. I'll take up those other two slots with uh, items of various healing natures. Oh, hell. There's no reason not to mix this with my full heal. So, I mean, I, I'll do it. Then I'll save, and then I'll fight Tyranny. Assuming I can fumble my ink ribbon out of the storage box. Oh, this is difficult. Thought fighting hunters was bad? Trying to get items out of your safe box? Much worse. No, that's a lie. I'm sorry I told it. Oh, I can I can feel my ranking plummet. I'm just like, what the hell are you doing? You don't need to save here. If you die, you can just do that part over again. What, that's five minutes? Big freaking deal. You can handle it. You're a man. But I'm not a man. I'm Jill. Jill is a woman. She is one of the manlier women. Ho oh, ho, I exploded a zombie. He has no arms or a head. Uh, no, uh, no. Let's just go up the elevator. Press the button then. What? What do you mean there's no power? I turned on the freaking power with the freaking buttons that I pressed with my freaking fingers on my freaking hand. Do I... Do I have to press things in the other room? Like the room with a big generator in it? I don't know. A new living thing? Ow. Get off! Oh, freaking freaking freak. 
Danger, Will Robinson. You're gonna get killed by demons. Ha ha ha, you hung the other one up. Good job working together, guys! Not that stars really knows anything about working together either. They're just lucky that their faces managed to survive apart. Guys, stop. Don't cut me. Here we go. Wow, I really needed that last bit of text there. killing the other zombie. Maybe the power got him. Turn on the power, turn off the living dead. That was a lot better sounding in my brain than it was out of my brain. I might as well. Of course, now the tyrant's just gonna one-shot me in order to cause annoyance. Click! Jill! Barry! So what did you find out from his corpse? That he's Jill. dead? You're here too! Yes, you're here too? Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going! You're both morons. Now go upstairs together. Up elevators. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <sighs> That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. <laughs> 